Hello, student. Once again, I welcome you uh, in our uh, practical session of uh, SPOS lab. So today we are going to discuss about the second practical from the group B. Or the first practical last time we have discussed, and uh, each details I have shared with you. Now today we will discuss one more practical from the group B. And uh, once uh, I so I will recap the. Uh, uh what you need to install uh, in order to implement the practicals of group b because this is a, a new part for all of you so in order to implement the practicals of group b uh, we need to install the lex and the yak uh, tools as a package which is provided by the unix operating system as already we have discussed uh, using the lex tool we can implement the lexical analyzer uh, and using the yak uh, we can uh, uh, implement the syntax analyzer that is a parser okay so lex tool uh, generate the lexical analyzer and using which you can check uh, whether the tokens can be generated or not as a first uh, phase of compiler and uh, using the yak tool yak tool is being utilized to uh, check whether the sentence or expression is syntactically correct or not so to do to do this activity we need the we need the lexical analyzer and we need the syntax analyzer and to recognize the token we need the lexical analyzer and uh, lexical analyzer can be generated with the help of the automatic tool lex that we are discussing and syntax analyzer or the parser can be generated by the automatic tool yak which stands for the yet another another compiler yet another compiler compiler using which you can generate the parser and check the syntax okay now as yesterday also we have discussed uh, designing the language processor as a compiler is a very tough task very difficult task and in the market some of the automatic tools are available in order to design some of the phases of the compiler and we have that kind of two tools lex and yak using which we can design and develop the first and second phase of our compiler now uh, what are the prerequisites uh, uh, for you to install these uh, tools or the software on the machine you should have the pc uh, that is installed with the Ubuntu or any Linux based operating system and you need the working internet connection to install all these things. Okay. Then, uh, uh, in order to install the Lex uh, tool as a Lex package, in order to uh, uh, compile the .l extension program of a Lex program, we need to install the Flex. Okay. And uh, in order to run the program of uh, Yak, with the dot y extension we need to install the bson package okay so that also is what i told you and in order to install the uh, lex package you can install it simply using the first command sudo apt get install flex and uh, it will ask you how to install that it will ask you yes or no after that and you have to just select the yes and you have to go for the uh, installation okay similar is the uh, case for uh, similar case is there for the uh, in order to install the uh, another package that is the bison also that also you have to utilize this command should have to get install bison and you have to install it just like the previous package okay and after all these uh, after all these you will get your both of the package being installed okay uh, then uh, in the uh, uh, in order to run the program of this lex and uh, yak the commands are slightly different so in order to run the program of uh, lex you have to utilize you have to, you have to follow these three steps so in the first command is to compile your lex program that input specification you are giving to the lex tool using lex compiler so you have to use this command lex program name dot l then after this lex dot yy dot c file will be get generated that already i have shown you on the home folder okay and then you have to uh, compile that file with the c uh, that c program you have to compile using the c compiler and command you should utilize for that is like the gcc lex.yy.c and hyphen lfl and finally after this you will get the executable file generated on the home folder itself that is a.out which is nothing but your uh, lexical analyzer okay as a first phase of compiler and then you have to run this lexical analyzer and you have to provide some input uh, like any C program, small fragment of code you can provide and uh, 
from that uh, this lexical analyzer will check which are the tokens in that particular c program that you are given as a input so all these steps you have to follow okay all these steps you have to follow in order to do the installation and run the program okay now let's move forward and uh, let's move to the uh, today's uh, what kind of uh, program that we are going to see today okay so uh, as you can see this is the program that we have to uh, perform today and uh, you can easily see uh, the particular uh, syntax and uh, uh, particular uh, how you, you should write the program that already i told you okay uh, now uh, you can see um, in order to do the program <clears throat> okay in order to do the program of lex we have the uh, certain format is given <clears throat> certain section of the program is given so this is the your uh, lex program so group b02 we have to today write the program using lex specification uh, to implement the lexical analysis phase of compiler to count the number of words lines character digit from the given input file means today we have to generate the lexical analyzer okay using lex specification and that generated lexical analyzer should be able to do the counting of words lines digit etc etc okay so for that purpose we have to generate the lexical analyzer and how we can generate the lexical analyzer we can generate the lexical analyzer uh, with the help of lex tool okay that already i told you so uh, let me uh, make it uh, proper format so that you can see it properly okay okay now as all of you know the lex program consists of the three section in that first section is the uh, declaration section second is the rule section and third is the our auxiliary function or the user function okay so with the help of these three uh, section you have to write the program of uh, lex and generate the lexical analyzer and then you can check whatever things you want to check okay so this is your declaration section for this uh, program okay lex program in the declaration section you are mentioning some header files and here you are declaring different variables you have declared here now these are the variables we are going to require in the further part of the program so we need to count the lines so we have taken the variable lines with initialize zero words with zero initialize small letters initialize with the zero capital letter initialize with the zero for digits num equal to zero special character equal to zero total number of character also we are going to count that is also your that you have declared it then this wr i think we don't require it character then li bl wd okay this kind of things uh, uh, we are going to require and uh, that is the reason here uh, we have declared these variables okay then now you can see here uh, now this uh, i think this we don't require the program okay we only required up to this only okay so this is your declaration section where you declare whatever things you want to declare okay and this is the second section now we have to write the we have to generate the lexical analyzer so that it can count the number of words lines etc and for that purpose we need to give the uh, input specification to the lex tool then that lex tool will generate the lexical analyzer for us so for that purpose we have written the lex program so this is the translation rule section of our lex program okay now in the rule section suppose if you want to count the lines then rule for counting the lines is simply like this okay backward slash n okay using this only our uh, lines will be get uh, counted okay when you run the program you can easily see also uh, when you go to the uh, uh, also in order to count the words also uh, we have to uh, we have to utilize the uh, this slash n also uh, help us to count the words also okay so slash n indicate the new line okay so whenever we go to the uh, new line okay that time your line this variable will get incremented as well as this word variable will be get incremented understood 
also uh, this uh, uh, you can see uh, this uh, slash t as a tab this tab you know as a space it's in you know, order to count the spaces okay when you give the space after some words that time uh, we can uh, sure that your word has been completed understood so this rule slash t space now this will utilize for the purpose of word counting understood so whenever the spaces will be there in your input it will be considered as a word completion understood and your word variable will get increased understood so whenever there is a new line whenever you go to the new line then this will be get match with this rule and when this will get match with this rule the this action will be performed this is the rule and this is the action in front of that this is the rule for counting the words and this is the action related with that uh, rule okay now we want to count the uh, capital letters also so for that you can simply write the rule like this i i told you in the expression of lex there are this kind of rules are available so capital a to capital z means if any any kind of input input you will give to this program and if there is a uh, alphabets between a to z capital alphabets between a to z will be there then that will be get match here and if it is get match here the particular related action will be get performed and what is action here uh, c letters variable will be get incremented and your capital letters will be get counted okay then similarly for small letters also rules you have written small a to z if in your input uh, that you are trying to check using the lexical analyzer if there are small letters a to z are there any letters between them uh, between a to z is there that will be get match here and then your small letters variable will be get incremented now if you, if you want to count the digits also or number then for that you know the numbers are only between 0 to 9 understood so if, if any number is there uh, in your input that will be get match with this rule and your num variable get incremented understood now dot and uh, in front of that we have written the action now dot will match with anything except the new line means apart from this uh, a to z 0 to 9 if anything is there okay anything in the sense there can be a uh, uh, question mark there can be a exclamatory mark understood there can be a comma anything so that everything will get match with the dot because you know the dot match with anything except the new line so if apart from these capital letters small letters digits words lines if anything is there that will be get match that will get match with the dot and if it is get match with the dot the action which will get performed is nothing but special character plus plus means your special character uh, variable will get incremented okay then in the main section in the main section uh, we have now we have to provide some input file to this program understood we have to give some input file to this program and then this program will process that input file understood this program then will process this input file so for that purpose we have utilized here uh, variable which is provided by the uh, lex package that is the yyin now yyin used to give the input file to the program and uh, yyin uh, equal to f open and uh, name of our input file is a my file dot txt and it will be open in the read mode understood then our yylex function which will call the lex uh, compiler and it will do the uh, work of uh, generating the lexical analyzer for this particular specification okay now we have to display the total character also so here we have taken the variable total equal to small letters plus capital letters plus number plus special letters that everything come under the totals okay and then what exactly which things are there in this file that we are going to display using the printf this file contains printf slash n person slash n slash t person d lines so how many lines are there that will be get displayer because we are counting the lines here then how many words are there that will be get display as we are counting the words here then how many small letters that will be get uh, display as we are counting it here how many capital letters that will be get display as you are counting it here then how many digits are there that will be get counted here and it will get displayed using the number variable how many special characters that will be get counted here and we, have, we can display it here and how many totals are there that you are uh, counting here and then we can display here understood 
then the last function we have the yy wrap function that function is uh, just used to tell that whether your processing of input file has been completed or not the kind of input file we are giving to this program whether everything from that file is uh, uh, every everything from that file uh, has been completed or not means the processing of the program has exhausted or not understood it return one if your program has finished if return zero if your program has not finished understood so that is the int uh, yy wrap function uh, it is just used to tell you uh, whether your program has exhausted or not as you are giving the input in the form of some input file my file dot txt understood so whether from your program uh, whatever input you are given whether that everything from your input has been finished or not in order to you know to tell that there is a utilization of yy wrap function understood so uh, let me tell you here uh, you can see here uh, let me tell you more about the yy wrap function also see yy wrap function in the legs so it is called by lex when the input is exhausted it return one if you are done return zero if more processing is required okay so uh, you can see here yy wrap function so as why we need to utilize the yy wrap function here because you are giving the input file to this program now whether that input file has completely processed or not if it is completely processed it will return one if it is not processed it will return zero it is automatically called by the our yy lex function understood so this is our program okay this is your user function understood and this is your rule section and this is your declaration section understood now let's try to run it and let's see how it is performing okay so now to run it you have to just go to the terminal and here now our program is counter.l so i told you the command lex program name .l. understood now once you compile this uh, program using the lex compiler automatically uh, one file will be generated there on the home and i told you what will be the name of that file so on the home you can see lex.yy.c must have been generated okay where is that okay here uh, here you can see lex dot yy dot c okay where we are we are on the home now here here must be generation of lex dot yy dot c file okay where is it where it is uh, lex Okay, is it not generated? Lex dot yy dot c. Okay, let me let me compile the program once again. Okay. Let's go to the let dot y y dot c now let me okay so here you can see where it is why it is not getting this let's go to y y dot c Okay, here you can see uh, the lex.yy.c file is being created. Okay, now next thing is what? Again, uh, uh, we have to uh, do the next part that is what? Now we have to uh, compile the generated lex.yy.c using the our uh, C compiler. Okay, and after this, the dots a.out file must have been generated on the home. Okay, a.out file. Now this is here you can see. A dot out file is generated. Understood. 
here you can see okay so this is your lexical analyzer generated okay now next thing we have to do is uh, then we have to run your lexical analyzer okay and then it should display us the uh, what what which are the counting of words lines digit number etc etc so this file contains two lines nine words 30 small character three capital letter one digit nine special character in total 43 now let me show you the our uh, this input file so this is your input file as you can easily see this is your input file okay this is my first lex program and uh, exclamatory marks cheers exclamatory marks it works exclamatory mark one color and uh, one closing place okay so there are the two lines first line and second line so same thing uh, uh, you can see in the output okay there are the two lines how many words are nine words okay let me copy this and take it uh, on that uh, input folder input file so that uh, we can uh, check whether our program is giving us the correct output or not lexical and doing the correct thing or not so these are the two lines you can see it's correct nine words are there one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty small characters are there okay thirty small characters you can count it these are thirty characters three capital letters this t this c and this i three capital one digit one is only one digit is there then nine special characters so this exclamatory mark one two three four five six seven eight nine so everything will be get counted in the exclamatory uh, in the special character and if you count this total uh 39 to okay uh how many total characters are there so it will count because if you see in the program uh in the program we have get taken the total as a small character plus capital plus num okay so small capital how many are there okay so this is our uh, this is our uh, program and uh, the processing of our program start from the main part here through the yy in we'll take the input okay so input file we have my file.txt and then this input after taking the input the call to the yylx function is being made and then we'll go to the this part rule section and uh, according to the input content the uh, things will be get match with the rule section and accordingly this action will be taken the variable will get incremented and finally in the main part uh, the we will display these lines words count uh, small letters capital letters count will be get display and at last graph function will check whether the input file processing has been completed or not okay so let's see how these things will be uh, get implemented actually okay so uh, here you can see uh, the if you see the output once again let me show you output here and uh, you can easily see so this is the output we are getting and you can easily check yeah, if i just copy it and we will compare it here okay and if i paste it here you can we can easily compare here so there are the two lines are there one and two nine words we have counted 30 small letters three capital letters one digit and nine special characters so total 43 characters are there because while calculating the, the total characters we have taken the small character small letters capital letters so 33 plus uh, 9 uh, 41 no 42 and one digit that is a 43 okay so we have not not consider the lines and the words in the characters here we have just consider the small letters capital letters digit and special characters okay so as soon as you uh, as soon as uh, you just uh, uh, create the uh, here i have shown you as soon as you create the lexical analyzer and you uh, run the lexical analyzer and then you get this kind of outputs okay so if you try to see the our uh, input we are providing and uh, kind of kind of output we are getting here so this input you can see so as you are giving this as an input okay uh, sorry we are giving the input as this line okay so let me copy it and take me here okay so 
can see just for understanding purpose i am showing you here so this is your input okay uh, okay so let me copy the input here and let let's see how this will be get checked by the uh, uh, our lexical analyzer so this 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 particular word now this will be get determined now here at which rule it will match it will match with this rule first capital letters then small letters HIS will get matched with the small letters. And once it find the space here, at that time it will determine that word word has been uh, recognized, understood. So then IS will be get matched with the small letters. Then again, space here, that will get matched with the words. Then again, MY will get matched with the small letters. Again, space, then it will get matched words like this. So as soon as you determine these uh, exclamatory marks, it will get matched with the dot here because dot is matching with anything except the new line. So that will be get counted in the special character. So as soon as you go to the new line here, then it will get matched with this rule and the line in line counter will be get incremented line plus plus understood. So similarly, it will get, uh, uh, it will check all these uh, input. Okay. And accordingly, it will try to match with these rules and this uh, variable counter will get incremented and accordingly it will get print understood. So this is nothing but the implementation of uh, uh, lexical analysis phase of compiler to count the number of words, lines and the character of given input file. So for that purpose, we have written the lex specification and we have utilized the lex tool and then we have generated the lexical analysis phase and then we have uh, compile it and uh, we check uh, after generation of lexical analyzer phase, we give input to it and uh, that input containing some lines or uh, some uh, text lines and that input from that input lexical analyzer check, which are the lines, words, small letter, capital letter, digit, etc. So in this way, the lexical analyzer works and we can develop the lexical analyzer with the of the lex tool. Okay. So I hope all of you understood this part. And you can go through the uh, all the installation and uh, you can do the practice if you have the laptop at home or the desktop PC. Okay. If you have any uh, doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. I will definitely answer all your doubts. Okay. Thank you all of you.